Hi, welcome to my channel. Please make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today we're going to be reviewing Seafoam Motor Treatment. Seafoam is one of the more popular additives that you can buy at your local auto parts store. Seafoam claims this motor treatment can do various things, but for today's test, we're going to see if it can clean carbon deposits out of this engine. Alright, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and take out the spark plug, that way we can put the endoscope down through the cylinder head. And now that spark plug's out, let's go ahead and put the camera in. And as you can see, there's actually quite a bit of carbon built up there on the piston head. Uh, looks like it's totally covered in the black soot or carbon or whatever that is. The cylinder walls don't look like they're too bad, even though it looks like there might be a little bit of carbon buildup down there at the bottom. But other than that, it looks like it's mostly the piston that is covered in the carbon. Let's get the camera out of there and get on with the test. According to Seafoam, in order to clean your engine, you can put as little as 2 ounces per gallon of fuel or as high as a 50-50 ratio. This engine has a 0.9 gallon fuel tank and we're going to use 8 ounces of Seafoam. That is approximately a 1 to 14 ratio, Seafoam to fuel. Here you can see I'm going to be adding 8 ounces of Seafoam to this 8 ounce beaker. Now let's go ahead and add it to the fuel. Let's get this test underway. For obvious reasons I took the engine outside for this portion of the test. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get it started. Alright, it started on the first pool just the way I like it. About every 15 to 20 minutes throughout the test, I came outside and revved the engine just to simulate real world use. About 30 minutes into the test, I went and got wire and tied the throttle about halfway open to speed up the test. You can see in this clip exactly how I rigged it up. Again, about every 15 or 20 minutes, I came out and revved the engine and to ensure that this is operating under all conditions. After about four and a half hours, the engine died. It was out of gas. Let's go ahead and get it back in the garage. Let's see the results. Now we have the engine back in the garage. Let's get that spark plug out. All right, we got the spark plug out. Let's send the camera into the cylinder head. There's one big obvious difference I can put up on the screen. There's several white spots in the middle of the cylinder. You can tell those weren't there before. Uh, went ahead and investigated a little bit closer. As you can see, I put the camera up next to the cylinder head, trying to investigate what that was. It looked like a milky white substance at first, but then I decided to take the camera to scratch the piston. As you can see, that soot and carbon is actually coming off onto the camera. At the very least, it did not take it off the piston, but it definitely did loosen it up. Just so you know, I'm not paid or sponsored to do this video. I bought all the supplies myself. I want to know what you think about the video and what you thought about the test results. Personally, I'm a little bit surprised because I wasn't expecting to see those spots in the middle of the piston head. But after further evaluation, it was actually clean. Please let me know what you think about the video. Leave comments down in the comments section. Also, as always, please hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you.